factors, of course, the IHL expansion just being one of them. Well, I've seen a lot of great things uh, during the years that I've been following uh, Muskegon over here playing hockey, but I don't think I've any, ever seen anything quite as good as this. Some of the Lumberjacks have skated out. They're going to give that Zamboni a little bit of a push, and I suspect that's all it uh, needs to get it rolling a little bit. Then the Jeep will be able to pull it off the ice. They'll get the other machine on. They'll finish with the resurfacing. And now the Lumberjacks, well, let's hope that this is representative of the effort tonight, uh, Mike, because if they can do to Kansas City what they have just done to the Zamboni out there, it'll be a happy evening for the 4,000 fans here in attendance and the many thousands watching throughout West Michigan on TV 13. The machine is finally being moved. I see a lot of guys out there, including Elaine Morissette, the goaler. I don't think I've ever seen a goaler work that hard, Mike. <laughs> well, this is going to give the Lumberjacks a competitive advantage, Tom. They'll be all warmed up. Kansas City, of course, staying in their dressing room. Uh, the Lumberjacks should be well lathered after this one. Well, certainly I've heard of athletes that have pushed cars up hills and things like that in order to condition themselves. But I think we're seeing the ultimate spectacle right now, the Zamboni being pushed off by about five or six members of Phil Russell's team. I don't think those guys had to work all that hard to get it going. And I think I see a couple of the guys down there, Paul Dick uh, and a couple of others, that might have just been hanging on <laughs> a little bit. They're out there for appearance sake. But the new machine, as you can tell now, is on the ice. And we're probably just a few minutes away from the start of this game. Why don't we talk a little bit about this divisional race?